Hi everyone, this is Mark from King's Landing Sport Fishing. Today I want to do a quick tip video how I run a slide diver on a braided rod when I want to go from braid to fluorocarbon for spring fishing. So today I'm going to use um, fluorocarbon, P-Line Fluoroclear. This is a 15 pound test because like I said, I'm running it for a spring. We've got a uh, clear bead. We've got a torpedo swivel here. And I've got a micro swivel, really, really small. I use this to tie from the braid to the fluorocarbon because this is so small, it still goes to my eyelets. And then I've got my size double zero slide diver. This is the white one I have kicking around. And uh, I've got it pre-tied on the piece of braid. I like to do that with all my slide divers. And I'll show you in a moment how it makes life so much easier when I want to transfer, transition this to the rod, especially if I was doing something like this out on the water. So. Bear with me a second, I'm gonna move the camera down and show you guys how I do it. Okay, first thing I'll do is grab my diver rod. I've got uh, one filled here with 50 pound braid um, power pro. So first thing I do is I'm gonna take the power pro end and I'm gonna tie on one of those micro swivels. These micro swivels are really small. They're strong enough to do the job we need, especially with spring fishing. And they're small enough that they'll go through the guide. So at this point, just use your favorite knot that you use for tying to a swivel. And tie that on. So now I've got the braid connected to the micro swivel. Next, take your fluorocarbon. This is some P-Line Fluoroclear. I have 15 pound kicking around today. Sometimes in the spring I will use lighter, but I've got the 15 pound here to do this video. And again, take your, your favorite knot that you use for tying fluorocarbon to a swivel. Make sure that's nice and tight, which it is. Now cut off the tag ends. Now, I could have used an Albright knot here, but I like to have the micro swivel instead, and it goes through the eyelets perfect. Now I'm gonna take my rod, and now I'm going to wind on however much fluorocarbon I want to use. So in my case, I'm going to put 50 feet on this. So bear with me, it's going to take a moment. But basically... Let's take some drag here. This is the tough part when you got your rod all broken down. But I want you guys to see what I'm doing. And if I set this rod in one piece, there's no chance. So I just got the swivel now on the line. So now I'm going to reset my counter. And I'm going to wind on 50 feet of uh, fluorocarbon. There we go. Counter's at 950, so that's good enough. Now I'm gonna take my carbon, cut that off. Now, this is where my little diver trick comes in place. Some of you might remember, I pre-rigged them on a uh, piece of braid. So, take my braid. Now all I do is take this pre-rigged diver, take my fluorocarbon, Tie the simplest of knot, because I want it to be small. And it's only temporary. The simplest of knot. And now, I slide my diver onto the fluorocarbon, as you can see. And there you go. 
Now I've got the fluorocarbon. I've got the slide diver on there. Now I take my clear bead, slide the clear bead on. Now I take my torpedo snap swivel, slide that on. Again, back to doing that favorite knot that we all have. Cut off my tag end. And now what you'll see is I've got my diver rod rigged with 50 pound fluorocarbon and a size double zero. So I call it my mini slide diver. And it's all ready to go. Super simple. Like I said, I like to use the swivel between the braid and the fluorocarbon and uh, good to go for the spring here. Uh, I've got 15 pound test on. If I wanted to go lighter, all I'll do is tie up a, uh, you know, seven, eight foot, 10 foot piece of, let's say eight or 10 pound um, cigar fluorocarbon and attach that to my spoon if I really want to. But this way I can nice stealth presentation, let out 50 feet of uh, fluorocarbon and we're good to go. So hope that, uh, hope that tip helps you guys. I'm sure you're itching as much as I am for the uh, season to start. Uh, spring is almost here. I think it's March uh, 21st or 22nd today. Uh, I know in the Toronto area, the weather's really, really nice and we're just itching to get out on the water. Uh, but first I gotta get to the boat, uh, install a transducer and a few other things and then we'll be good to go. So good luck to everyone out there. Hope this tip helps.